Welcome everyone to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight it's Noche Enabia, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. The Mavericks hoping to give a strong showing here for their home crowd. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Wizards team. They lost both of the matchups in this interconference battle a season ago. They like to change that now. You know, some teams just have your number, and that was the case between these two last season. This game will probably be something of a chess match, don't you think, Greg? Both these squads love to run intelligent half-court strategies. Yeah, you can expect to see some interesting playmaking as these squads try to open each other up and create opportunities to score. In the corner, it's Morris. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Outside, Green. Back to Irving. Three-pointer. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, Kyrie Irving has played with LeBron and Kevin Durant. You learn how to operate without the basketball. Down low. Stolen by Bullock. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Bobbed up there for Green. It's stolen by Morris. Now here's Beal. His last outing, 16 points for him. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. 2022, Greg, a year for the Washington Wizards with some historic significance. And it marks 25 years of the Washington Wizards name being on an NBA jersey. A cool moment for the current players who can look back on this franchise and know they're a part of history. And the shot goes in from Chris Stapps Porzingis. Well, the three-point shooting of Chris Stapps Porzingis is so prolific. You've got to guard him out there. Doncic looking it over. Lock at six. Over to the left wing. From deep three-point range, Peel pulls it in. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. I briefly spoke with Wes Unseld Jr. Said priority number one is to not let these guys get going from the perimeter. Do not let them start getting open threes. It's a recipe for disaster. Kevin? Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. And it's Bullock in the corner. From deep. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Out to Morris. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. What a nice individual defensive effort right there. Did a great job contesting. Irving with it. Now Beal defending. Dallas again missing. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved to just one pass more. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Pass to Green. Back to Irving. Out left to the wing. They grab their own miss. Shoots over Beal. Beal with the block. How about the anticipation from Bradley Beal? Wow, what a block. And here's Porzingis. Shoots over Bullock. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. And both free throws good for Porzingis. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. In, in today's game, the man's more movement from big men than ever before. Wood with the bucket. 
and undrafted out of college. Wood has dealt with plenty of adversity. I think he can overcome a little bump. Pass to Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Chris stops Porzingis with the rejection. Abdia gets the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. To the inside. Good. Abdia with the rebound. From deep. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. A big time effort for Perzingis, providing a lot of energy for the Wizards. He finishes with nine points. Welcome back, everyone. It's Noche Latina in the NBA as we resume action. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Washington? And guys, I love the movement, doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Mr. Persingas, back to none. Persingas can't hit. Mavericks trail by six. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. Here's Holiday. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Now how did he manage to change his shot midair? Pass to Kisbrook. A three-pointer is right on target. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role play. Yeah, that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you can see them look a lot like the hard era Rockets. To the middle. Here's Kleba. Not going to go that time. And none has got the ball here for the Wizards. They lead by seven. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. A rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this. If you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end, and clearly they were not. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy, and that's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely, he has had injuries along the way. But the talent is obvious. David, thanks. Doncic, right side. On the wing, Green. Rocket two. The tray. And that's good. Luka Doncic for three. Doncic has got seven now in this quarter. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. So... What's the difference? Uh, well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Ma Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. Pass to Bullock. Fires from deep. And they recover it. On the wing, Doncic. They shoot again. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Nine points for Luka Doncic. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Mavericks trail by four. And the dunk by Doncic. Authoritative finish by Luka Doncic above the rim. And the wide open shot for Morris. 
and misses it off the right side of the rim. Doncic with it. Now Beal defending. Outside Green. Doncic right side. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. 109 left now here in the second. Pass to Avdia. Back to Beal. Now here's Kispert. Here's Avdia. The Wizards with another miss. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. There's 37 seconds left here in the second. And it's Bullock missing. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold screen. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Outside, Green. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. Shoots the three. Back to Irving. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Irving's got the game tied up here for Dallas. Here's Morris. And it's good. Two points. Outstanding pass on time and on target. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Wizards up by two. We're back after this from American Airlines Center. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Boy, what a season 2022 was for the Dallas Mavericks, making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, the huge upset over the Suns turned that season into what was a dream run early in Luka Doncic's career. Clock at four. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. This is a smart kid who works hard, right? I mean, Powell draws the foul, gets to the line. Nicely done, young man. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. So. Kuzma can't get it to go. And with the Mavs, a trip doors to the conference finals puts them ahead of schedule, many people think. Yes, Kevin, but I don't think you can let that momentum you built last year fade in any way. You've got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. We know how fragile success in the NBA is. You've got a top five player on your roster. You have to make sure you're taking advantage of opportunities. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. You can see the level of attention Bradley Beal draws. This guy is so heady finding the open teammate. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Porzingis with the steal. This is what superb defense is all about, guys. He read that all the way. A three from Morris. That shot off. Now Dallas takes it the other way some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum Irving misses well an over three start to the half you need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent that's to Persingas Kuzma outside and stolen by Green here's Bullock and he parks it off the glass. Wow. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. Here's Morris. Offensive rebound. 
Outside for Beal. Back to Gafford. That one a little long. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. And here's Doncic from the arc. Pass to Green. Irving for three. Rebound, Washington. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Pass to Powell. Two minutes remaining in the they can use a bucket. He takes it up and lays it in. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. To the wing on the left. Back to right. Out to the wing. Launches a three. None can't get it to fall. To Hardaway. Back to Holiday. For the tie. It's hauled in by Persingas. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. None wide open. The Wizards with another miss. There's a minute left to play in the third. Pass to Hardy. Here's Wood. Shot clock at five. Ball's knocked loose. And now here comes Wright leading the break. And he gets the bucket. Persingas has got four points this quarter. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. McGee is screen. Hardaway with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. McGee's shot is off. Wizards leading by four. The kick out to right. Takes the three. Buries it from three-point range. Three points. Boy, DeLon Wright with great range. What a shot. Out to the right wing. The wide open look here for Wood. McGee. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Przingis. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And he's good on the second. Seven seconds left in the third. Outside, Brzingis. Three pointers off the mark. And we've watched three so far in this one. Wizards lead by six. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter of what is still anybody's ballgame. Wizards leading by six. Pass to Kuzma. And here's off the yacht. The wide open look here for Persingas. And the three off target. Well, he had one three pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Hard away with a wide open look. That three off the mark. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Pass to Kuzma. Over green. Kuzma can't get it to go. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. The kick out to Irving. Dallas moving it around. And they'll get another chance. The momentum continues to go their way. Pretty much the story of the game. Now, Avdia. Back 
to Kuzma. Out to Porzingis. Pass to Avdia. None with it. Hardaway picks him up. Over in the corner, Porzingis. It's Beal on the wing. And another miss by Washington. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of all games. And it's Irving missing. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Wizards. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Pass to Wood. Back to Hardaway. Now, Kleba. Here's Irving. Dallas again missing. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. None can't get it to fall. Average trailed by six. In the corner, Irving with it. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Guys, I had a chance to find out what Wes Ensel Jr. discussed with his players. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin, we'll see if they can build on this lead. Thanks so much, David. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition nice and easy. They get the rebound for three. Bullet. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Kuzma with it. Now Green defending. Back to Porzingis. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, th their offense has ground to a standstill. Wizards leading by nine. Right wing. That's the free fly. Out to Kuzma. They get a bet. Outside, Brzingis. Morris outside. Six to shoot. Inside. Here's Gafford. A shot's good on the assist by Morris. Gafford's got four this quarter. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Irving from long range. Rebound by the Wizards. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Wizards. Look at the number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And with this win, they'll end up notching another victory for this year's campaign, win number 33. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Perzingis. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. That's off as well, so he misses both. I think we've certainly seen Kyle Kuzma grow in his maturity and understanding about the game. It's not always about the scoring, it's what contributes to winning, and he has really grown in that aspect. Here's Hardy. Here's McGee. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. He drops the first one, and that brings them within eight. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Snatched away. Dallas again missing.
And so it's the Wizards with the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty 